feels so weird to be sitting in front of a camera like after two weeks when you haven't been. Okay, anyways, back back to my channel. Um, welcome back to my channel is what I'm trying to say. If you obviously watch my videos quite a lot, you'll know that I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. I had a little break just because of a lot of things going on in my life. So I just thought it was best to do this kind of video to kind of like talk about it and whatever. It's nothing sad or dramatic. It's actually quite like good things which have happened. I thought this was the best kind of video to do like get ready with me so it's not really a tutorial but I'm still doing makeup so it gives you something to watch at the same time instead of me just chatting shit as I always do. But yeah, um, I'm necessarily not doing an intro, of course. I have a no makeup on right now. Don't judge. Sorry, I'm just like watching a magpie in the tree and I'm just like, what, are you, what do you want? Yeah, so I'm just gonna, obviously I've already started with doing my brows. So yeah, as I'm saying, I'm not doing an intro as such. We're just gonna literally jump straight into it because there's no need to do an intro. Um, yeah, so I've already done my brows because my brows are an absolute mess right now. They so need like plucked and everything. It's my first thing to do after I fill in these videos. I'm just going in with my Maybelline fit me concealer to cover my brows and for my eyeshadow i'm gonna go for like quite a dark different thing than i would usually go for i don't know i'm just feeling something a bit different you know spice up the instagram so yeah um where to start on why i haven't uploaded mainly because i haven't necessarily had the time to film and edit obviously it can take like more than a whole day sometimes when you are doing three videos especially a week i was planning to originally take just one week but that turned into two when obviously other things came around to avoid this in future though i am gonna just start like pre-recording and by like pre i mean like literally a week before because it does make us like a few feels like I'm not doing enough when I don't upload. So one of the main things that's happened while I've been away is I've started a brand new job. You'll obviously know quite a lot about my life if you have been watching me for a while but if you are new don't worry. Yeah, I've started a brand new job before this. I was working in a restaurant and I'm going to be real with you as you know, I got sacked from that. And the reason I got sacked is because I literally never went in, guys. Like, I hated this job in the restaurant. The people there were all right. I don't know, I just hated the job. It was something unrelated. It wasn't anything like beauty or makeup or just anything related. It was constantly just alcohol and food and an industry I'm not really interested in. Of course, I liked the aspect of helping people and speaking to people and and just the customer based side of it. I loved that. But the actual job itself, I absolutely hated it. The pay was rubbish. The hours were unbelievable. And yeah, it was just, I don't know how I did that for a year of my life, but honestly, I just really wish I didn't. But now I've went into the retail sector and I thought it was gonna take me so long to get into retail, but I actually got it pretty quick. So how this came about was, I ended up having a interview for JD Sports. And um, if you're interested, the one on Northumberland, street if you're from Newcastle. So I had a interview for there and I passed the interview and everything and then I ended up starting the job but this absolutely bored me to death. Of course I was mainly going for a retail job to get retail experience to eventually be on a makeup counter that's eventually what I want to do so I'm taking the steps to make that possible for me because at that moment I'm like in my life where I don't know necessarily what I specifically want to do I just know I want it to be like beauty focused and well basically makeup focused oh my shit and god it's concealer on my brow so yeah I don't know necessarily what it is that I want to do for the, like the rest of my life I know that I could really do anything I could like start my own makeup line open a makeup shop like obviously the world is my oyster and I could do anything so I'm not specific sure what I want to do entirely yet but I know that I would like to work on a makeup counter for a good few years because that's obviously something I'm interested in so that is why I am um, went for the GAD job because that is retail experience and I need retail experience to get on a makeup counter more or less so I was doing it for the experience but then I am um, it's really like hard to explain how it came about but I basically landed myself with a job on a fragrance counter instead um, and the odd one on a makeup counter so that just meant I didn't really need I didn't really need the experience from JD anymore so it was kind of like a, a bad job that I didn't need to go through so I did like literally two shifts there and I left. I'm not gonna lie everyone at JD seemed absolutely lovely. The hours, the pay and everything was amazing. So if you are interested in retail or you're looking for a new job in retail or something JD is a great place to work. I would recommend it but for me and I know exactly where I want to go in life and what exactly I want to be doing which is a makeup counter it just wasn't 
for me. I know I look like I have some kind of mask on right now, but it's okay. It's just the base. So I'm just going to set my concealer now. So yeah, more or less is I've been obviously so busy with, it was just such a like a faff on, obviously going to all these interviews, like loot the stress of losing your job, not knowing if you're going to pay your bills on time and obviously everything like that. I'm just glad I did have like obviously backup money and enough to get me through it. But it obviously was quite stressful and when it first happened, I still made videos. That's why obviously I was stick in to my schedule of three videos a week because I had such a large amount of time to actually do that but then when I started going to interviews and actually starting jobs it was then very hard to have time to do videos and obviously I've got college on top of that as well so yeah that's basically been one of the main reasons why I haven't been able to like film and edit and everything like that obviously with my new job taking up quite a lot of my time but now I'm in there and I'm settled and I've got all my shifts like obviously I now know that I can I now know Know my actual schedule and what it will be like so now I can like fit in videos. When I first did lose my job at this bar obviously as I'm saying it was a stressful time for me but it was kind of a I looked at it as a chance for a new beginning something new. I basically took it as God trying to speak to me and saying more or less like this chapter of your oh my god I hit myself on the face ow. This chapter of your life is done and it's time for like a new part of your life to open and go ahead. Obviously it happened for a reason and a good reason because I'm now one step closer to more or less the job that I want to be doing for a long period of time so yeah I just feel like that for me I just looked at it in such a positive way like that happened for a reason and that was meant to happen so that's what mainly got me through it I knew deep down that I was gonna get a job somewhere in retail and that's just really what pushed me okay by the way I'm just gonna take the Morphe 39A I'm sorry but I'm obsessed and I'm not gonna put it down for a good couple of months yet Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, I used the Freedom Brow Pomade on my eyebrows, the medium brow. So I'm just starting off with a shade called Vivid. Shall I, shall I zoom you in a bit? Yeah, I'll zoom you in a bit. Okay, so I'm starting off with a shade called Vivid, and I'm literally just putting this all over my, like, crease area. I'm planning to do a half cut crease, by the way. So yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I just feel like I was literally just meant to move on to the next part of my life, like, literally a new beginning. So I just took that in a really positive way, and I didn't really stress about it that much. In a way, I was actually happy because because I feel like if I didn't lose the job, I literally would have never left and I would have been stuck there for a longer period of time. The worst part of it was actually having to come home and tell my mum because I thought she was going to be so mad. She wasn't actually that bad. These shadows are so pigmented, man. So yeah, that's one factor. And of course, I absolutely love my new job. As I'm saying, it's on more or less basically fragrance counters, but the odd makeup counter I will be on as well. Um, it's not in a specific store. It's in lots of different stores in the shopping malls around the new castle area. Area. so yeah and of course I'm trying to focus more on my mobile makeup that I do around Newcastle as well and um, yeah I just feel like now I'm doing everything in the same industry I'm so much happier and obviously I get to go to work every day with makeup on as well because I'm actually not allowed to go to work without makeup so I actually love that so another thing that um has been going on and I don't know if this is a bit TMI but you know I'm gonna be honest I'm gonna let you know in anyways is that I changed contraception um not for contraception purposes because of the side effects that I was experiencing so yeah I'll just give you a tiny bit of background knowledge but basically I was on the implant beforehand and that's what they call it around my area I don't know if you're from a different country and they call it something else but it's basically that little thing that goes in your arm and it releases hormones to stop you from getting pregnant sometimes like affect your periods as well and stuff stuff like that I don't know so yeah I basically was on that obviously for a form of contraception and like that's the main reason I was on it for a form of contraception changing brushes to a smaller one I'm going in with shade vibrant now a bit closer to the crease and um, I was on it and I've been experiencing such bad side effects and um, I won't go into them too much but basically acne greasy hair and um, weight gain really bad and mood swings like so bad so I decided eventually after quite a long time of thinking about it I would say I would say a good couple of months I have been thinking about it but I got off my arse and I literally just like I decided on the Tuesday night that's it tomorrow I'm going and I'm getting this implant taken out my arm because I can't deal anymore because I have I've been trying to go to the gym and losing a little bit of weight of course I know I'm not like obese or even fat I know I'm not but it's the fact that I'm trying to lose weight and I feel like I'm not losing anything I wouldn't even say it's the fact I'm trying to lose weight it's the fact I'm trying to like tone and you know like just look generally good it's not really about like fat burning 
as intense as that sounds it's not really about that so yeah I just decided on the Tuesday night that's it like tomorrow I'm going and I'm getting this shit took out my arm because I'm not having like all these side effects like when I can get something else and a big factor to it was it I was just so hormonal with it honestly like it wasn't even when the time of month was coming around it was like all the time I was just hormonal so I just knew for me it was just best to get it taken out obviously there is quite a lot of people who get the implant and they absolutely love it and wouldn't be on anything else but for me it's just it's just not for me honestly and I absolutely hate it so that's what made me want the decision of having something non-hormonal so I decided to go with the coil so I got my implant taken out on the Wednesday and then on the Tuesday following is when I was getting my coil put in so I literally just went and got my coil put in it takes about 20 minutes honestly and I'm not gonna lie it does hurt it gives you like cramp pains but it's only while they're putting it in as soon as like they stop you feel completely fine but then about half an hour after I started getting really bad cramp but I literally just slept it off the next day I woke up and I was more or less fine I had a bit of cramp but not as much as I had like straight after it so happy with my decision now I keep getting cramp here and there like a little bit but it's nothing that's not taken away by taking the dream I ibuprofen so it's honestly one of the best decisions I've ever made and um, obviously the hormones take a week to go out of your system completely from the implant so they are completely on my system now and I don't even know like I know this will sound stupid but I feel like something has been taken away like in a good way I feel like something has been taken away like out of my body it's it's really weird but I just feel so much better within myself and it's one of the best things I've honestly ever done with weight I would say I seem less bloated, but I wouldn't say I've necessarily like dropped loads of pounds, but obviously I haven't been going to the gym yet, which obviously I said I've been re really busy with work, but I haven't actually got the time to go to the gym yet. I'm excited to know that when I do actually go to the gym, I will actually lose weight. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna cover up my crease now with the same Fit Me Concealer. So yeah, that's what was going on as well. So that took a couple of days to get around it. Obviously, I thought I was gonna be so much worse like getting it in and the whole process of it, but it honestly, it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. And honestly, if you're in the same boat as me with obviously the same contraception choices, my advice is, just go for it honestly just go for it because it is one of the best decisions I've ever made it makes us feel so much happier my camera cut there but I'm saying it made us feel so much happier within myself so so much better and for anyone wondering as well I actually got the 10 year one so it's such a relief to know that until I literally want to have like kids because obviously this runs out when I'm 30 years old literally I am covered for contraception until I want to have kids and it's non-hormonal as well which is a big factor and that's why I chose to get that one so I won't be a complete psychopath Anymore. I don't really know if this is a bit too much information like telling me is but you know I'm open and happy to talk about it because I get that people like obviously they go through this it's a real life thing and people need advice on this sort of thing I'm more than happy to talk about it obviously I'm not gonna tell you a whole life story about it but if you do have any questions or anything honestly just ask them down below don't be shy Um, yeah so obviously as I'm saying like a lot has been going on in such a short space of time as well because obviously I was starting my new job with going with this and also my car battery died the other day and that was an absolute nightmare I'm not gonna go into that or anything but just a nightmare and then obviously another massive thing that I really wanted to tell you was I got a new little puppy Um, as I'm talking now I'll in insert some photos on the screen. I'll move to the side a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, her name is Luna. Um, she is a miniature pincher or pincher. I don't know how to pronounce it, so if you know how to pronounce this, please tell me. I don't know, like spell it out in the comments or something. I don't know. I do not know how to pronounce this for my life. I always forget, but I just guess it's, it is what it is. She is basically like a miniature version of a Doberman is the way I explain it to people. Yeah, her name is Luna. She is eight weeks. Yeah, she's eight weeks, so that's like, what, like three months? Just under three months. Absolutely love her. Honestly, she is the smallest dog ever. Why that took so much time off my hands as well is because we actually had to travel all the way from Newcastle to Doncaster to go and get her, because that's where she obviously was. Yeah, but we had to drive there in this, whatever they're calling the weather here in Newcastle, the beast from the east or something, I, I don't even know. But yeah, we had to drive all the way to Doncaster, and I kid you not, we left at like half four, and we got back at 1.30 a.m. We were supposed to be back at half ten, and it took us like literally an extra three four hours so we could have went there and back twice in normal weather conditions but honestly the weather here has been atrocious like honestly so bad i predict that i saw probably about 18 crashes just in this two hour travel so i couldn't imagine the amount of crashes in the whole of the uk and um, i know that the m66 was absolutely like closed off because of a 16 car crash or something it has been so bad so i literally thank god so much that 
I did not crash or was I was close to it sometimes I'm not gonna lie we were so close to crashing a good few times with like skidding and everything but with the help of the other people on the road and obviously my dad was there as well it was a safe journey thankfully but honestly driving there you literally could not even see like a couple of meters in front of you it was ridiculous and then my windows would get so dirty off the other cars splashing the snow and obviously all the muck onto my window and then because of the freezing cold temperatures my window cleaner would freeze and then all the dirt would be on the window and you couldn't actually see out the window because of the snow on top of the dirt that was on your window it was an absolute nightmare okay by the way I plan to put black on top of it I don't know how it's gonna look but I just plan to do it because yellow I can't believe I just said that lol so yeah I'm gonna put black all over this and basically carve out my little black um I don't know if this is crazy but yeah of course I'm not gonna be adding eyeliner with this either so yeah um we drove all the way there to get her and, and I risked my whole family's life in doing so but we made it there and back this is either gonna make or break this look but yeah i do plan to put glitter on this as well so hold your horses so yeah that's more or less everything that has been going on necessarily big in my life it has been a big stress to me not being able to get up youtube videos but obviously i just wanted everything in place so then i could just come back with a bang i also then took a little break from instagram as well but i have been posting back on there and i've decided to like change my like theme and the way i post on there i'm now just gonna start posting more about my life not just specifically makeup like i'm gonna post like outfit posts and like if i travel or you know just like a generic instagram not just all makeup yeah if you want to go follow me on there you can i'll leave it somewhere on the screen i've been working hard on like literally revamping all of my social medias so you'll see that i have like a new youtube like channel art i have a new little thing that i insert at the end of my videos just like new facebook banner new twitter banner a little refresh you know um, i'm gonna go back in with that little brush that i was using and just blend them two shades together taking a bit of the shade passion and vibrant i actually like how this is coming out so i'm glad that i do i'm gonna take my big fluffy blending brush and make sure the edges are blended obviously this is like such a heavy like look but it's for the gram in the tube you know you know so yeah i just thought to do this video obviously to give you a quick update for anyone who does actually care so this is how it looks obviously i got fallout on my face sorry i'm just gonna turn up my lights a little a little bit i'm just gonna um add some of this glam crystals um glitter liner it's in the shade seven rock chick yeah i'm literally just gonna put this all over my lid oh i'm actually living i hope you are too i don't know if i've ruined it by adding this black but whatever so this is how it's looking and i'm really mad that i haven't used this liner before and i've had it for like literally three years because it's insane if you couldn't tell i'm channeling like my devil from inside my demon from inside today with this look i don't think i've ever done such dark eyes in my life but oh my god this is drama 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 okay now i'm gonna go in with some like little sequin things just for the bands oh don't know how that looks but what else okay so i know i look like super crazy and drama llama but that's what i live for okay so i'm just going in with some mascara i actually think this look came out so much better than i thought it was going to honestly feel like i've got like a little disco ball on my eyes Okay, so I just had to like fix this part because I felt like it wasn't blended enough. Oh my god, my legs hurt so bad. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom you back out. Obviously, I don't know how I feel about this look just yet. I feel so dramatic, but I have more makeup in so long, so no wonder I feel so dramatic. At the minute, I'm just using the Makeup Forever Step 1 primer. I feel like the more I look at this look, the more I do like it, but I feel like obviously I look so dramatic with just my eyes done. It might look a bit better when I've got my whole face done, you know. So that being said, I'm gonna go with some foundation. I'm using the Infallible Total Cover from L'Oreal in 12 Natural Rose. I'm actually using this because I have no foundation light enough for me right now because I have not one bit of fake tan on for the first time in my life. Even I feel like this might be a bit too dark for me if I'm honest. Mm, no, it's alright. I absolutely love the coverage of this foundation. I don't even know if I look worse with foundation on. Like, was this too dramatic? I am so glad to be getting back into makeup videos though because two weeks doesn't seem like a long time but it seems like months, honestly especially when you've had so much going on like the days seem longer i'm kind of stuck for video ideas as well though so can you just let me know down below i want to know what you want to say i feel like it do look so much like put together
there with obviously that foundation on my face. I'm now going to go in with my concealer brush and some like around my eyes and stuff. By the way, this is just the foundation that I'm like putting around these areas. It's because I cannot really see in my mirror, you know. Now we can go in with some concealer and this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20. I'm just going to buff this in with that same concealer brush. I feel like it does look so much better like once I've got foundation on. It doesn't look so dramatic anymore. I actually forgot how much I really like this foundation. I mean concealer. Now time to set that with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I feel like I pinpointed what it is about this look. It's not that I don't like it or anything like that. It's that it's really dark. I'm not used to dark colours. That's what it is. So now I'm just going to go in with my Hula Bronzer. If I wasn't holding it upside down, you know. Bronze up a little bit. I don't want to take too much of this because it can be quite dark when I'm this light. I forgot how much I love this bronzer, man. Okay, so before I go on anything else, I'm just quickly going to run that brush under my lower lash line. Um, obviously that makes it look so blown out but it'll look better when I've got lower mas lower mash mascara lower lash mascara <laughs> and then of course I'm adding some lower lash mascara I'm living guys I'm living okay now I'm going in with this Becca skin shimmering perfecta in the shade moonstone of course I need a booming highlight to go with this drama drama look then as always go back in with my bronzer brush to mix those two together. I'm not going to go in with blush today either. And you know, I'm going to be that little bit extra as well. Then I'm going to go in with a dark lipstick too. Okay, I'm actually just going to go in with this Urban Decay sample that I have. These are the Vice lipsticks. So I'm going in with the shade Disturbed and Rocksteady. And I'm first going to take the darker shade, which is Disturbed. This is like a, kind of like a dark maroon colour, but it is on the red scale. So I'm more or less going to take this as like a lip liner-ish. Okay, so it's coming out more of like a purple colour. I look so funny with it on like that. Hmm, I'm not quite sure this is what I was going for. So I'm going to maybe go over the top of it with the shade Blackmail. This is a much darker colour. Okay everyone, so this is the finished look. Of course I went and changed the lipstick because it came out more of like a purple colour and that wasn't really what I was going for. So I've changed the Urban Decay lipstick in the shade Stark Naked. I was going to be daring and go for more of a darker lip but yeah we are with a classic nude. So yeah that's it for this video if I haven't already said that. But please make sure to subscribe. I hope that I have like done myself justice and I explained why I haven't uploaded and I hope that's okay with you guys but obviously I've came back booming with disco balls on my eyes. I don't really have anything else to say apart from obviously this is the only break I'll probably be taking unless something drastic happens. But yeah, thank you still for making me reach 1.3k. Oh my god, I actually just hit it today and it just reminded me that obviously I do this to help you guys and to give you advice and literally just be friends over the camera, you know? So I really hope that you enjoyed this video, getting to know a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit more about my life and personal issues and things that I've went through recently. And I don't know, I hope that that's maybe like how you've saw that I've changed negative situation to a positive. I hope that you can take something away from that and learn from it. But at the minute, I'm just gonna leave it at that and leave you with me looking like a boy egg and that's everything from me please make sure to subscribe if you're not already give this video a massive thumbs up if you would like to see more chill calm videos and yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys